morning guys, it is 5am, I managed to sleep a little bit and we're heading off to another sand dune this morning to go sandboarding again. We're going to try and get there for sunrise, it should be pretty epic. We've arrived at the beach and we are trying to make our way over this hill to a massive sand dune. The only way to get there is to drive around the coast but the tide is really high at the moment so we can't drive there in our vehicles. So some guy has come to help us and he is going to get all our equipment or the stuff we need and as many of us as possible in this car and we're going to drive through the sea apparently. Apparently it's going to get quite deep as well uh, and make our way around. So, <laughs> it should be quite, quite an adventure. We're in the back now. How are you feeling this morning, Devin? I feel a little jammed, but it's another day on the job. Yeah, De really well. dedication, 5am. Dedication. If only you guys knew what we had to do to get these shots. <laughs> we got some amazing locals that are helping us out so we don't have to hike in 45 minutes, but we're going to be driving through the ocean in a car, so I've actually never done that before until now. So yeah, this is serious. So Connor, what are the chances of survival? Uh, like, maybe like a 6 out of 10 out. Oh no. That's pretty good. It's <laughs> not bad, but it's not <laughs> ideal. I'll buy any <laughs> We've just been getting all the equipment set up and uh, we're now going to make our way all the way up the sand dune. Oh, so steep. These guys are crazy. I feel like I'm going to start a sand avalanche. How you doing? Oh, it's really tired. <laughs> How you feeling, Devin? Trying to go to bed. <laughs> People don't realize what we have to do. It looks all fun. Looks so fun. <laughs> but the reality is that's really hard. Right, we've fired up the drone. They're going to do a little test shot, and then if they're all happy. Hey, Connor's gonna Start dive walking, off here. Walk into it. Just slowly walk in. And go all the way down there. Five, four, three, two, one. Three, two, one. Oh. That was wicked, man. Oh, okay. oh my god. Guys, I've been down once. This is my second time. Uh, I can't film it though because then I can't steer and it's far too dangerous because this is a very steep slope. Uh, Car is just hiding in the bushes there filming some slow mo. These guys are gonna go as well. This is pretty end. We 
spent the whole morning walking up and then coming back down on this massive slope on the little uh, boogie boards and uh, it's been exhausting but it's been awesome and some of these guys are crazy they've got lots of courage because it's pretty scary coming down there we've now packed up all the gear and we're about to head off all of these lads have been amazing How did you guys enjoy that? Yeah? Anyone cut their toes? This is what sand can do to you at high speed. <laughs> you happy with the shoot, Devin? Yes, how could I not be? We have all these amazing locals that showed up and how we couldn't have done without them. And they're all like cut up and bleeding on their feet. <laughs> But yeah, it was good. Fine, we're all tired, we're all sunburned, so I might look pasty white because I have all this crap on my face, but we're yeah. done. We're done for now, and now we're going to our next location. High so, five. High five. Boom. And guess what? Louis did it, and he did it flawlessly. <laughs> he went down. I think he was a little scared, guys, just so you know, he was a little scared. I was. But I didn't even do it, so I wasn't even as brave as Louis. But I gave him props for that. <laughs> Before you guys head off, remind me how far you travelled to come here today. We travelled from Auckland, um, which is approximately six hours away. Wow. That is crazy. Making in time for a gig as well. Yeah? Well, I hope your uh, journey back is alright. And uh, thanks for coming up, lads. That's alright. Travelling to a show you the roof of this vehicle. I don't know if you can see, but these are all squash mosquitoes from last night. And all the little red splodges, that's my blood. That's the blood they've been feeding from. We have stopped off for lunch on the way to the airport. And we've all got burgers, chicken burgers and beef burgers. How are the burgers, guys? Mm. Good? So good, they're ginormous. They are ginormous. They're like American size. Look at the little hedgehog. Look. Hello. Hello, matey. Hey. Come on, buddy. Come on. Oh, no. Quickly! Oh, forgive me. Hey! <laughs> Guys, this hedgehog is so tame. Look at him. He's so cute. I want a pet. I want a pet hedgehog. Oh, I'll let you go, bro. Stay safe. Don't get run over. We are back at the most relaxed airport in the world. So chilled. Just checking in. Luggage goes there, straight out to the plane. This is what I'm checking in. I'm allowed to hang onto my penny board, which is cool. One of the problems with traveling with all this high-tech camera gear is sometimes airports don't like it. So we have some big batteries with us, which apparently aren't allowed on the plane. So I think they're negotiating now. It's not looking good right now. They're not gonna let us take the 10,000 milliamp batteries or the 8,000 milliamp batteries on so the plane. Do, drive We're talking about options right now. I guess they have some kind of cargo hold for extreme things, but he says they have to get some permission and all the stuff in our flight leaves pretty soon. Another day in life. Everyone thinks it's a dream, but it's not. <laughs> a lot of problems, a lot of crap. Yeah. Excuse my language. <laughs> we'll overcome it. We'll figure out a plan. We always overcome. That's the beauty of filmmaking. You have to overcome. And the best filmmakers are people that overcome. So a little update, we're not allowed on the plane with the batteries. So we're trying to figure out another solution to get the batteries down to Auckland. It's a six hour drive, but the car rental place is closed now. Bit of a, bit of a disaster. Jordan has kindly offered to stay um, to deliver the batteries via, via car. And we're gonna rush onto the plane. Bro, have a good drive. Sorry I can't join you. All right. 
That's nuts, isn't it? I've been sitting here editing and because we're waiting here for a few hours for Jordan, I thought I'd Snapchat and tell people I'm chilling down here and a couple of people have shown up to say hello. hello. Do you want to introduce yourselves? I'm Rupam. I'm Sean. I'm Connor. I'm Cam. And you all live in Auckland? Yeah. Yep. Um, and literally they've just come down with like, I don't know, like half an hour's warning on Snapchat. Um, so it's cool. It's like a, an impromptu meet up. So sorry if you didn't see my Snapchat and you're from Auckland. Maybe next time. Devin's showing some of the shots we filmed today to everyone. Well, we have the good moment in here somewhere. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just going through and picking out the best parts. Well, that was super nice having a few people come and say hello. So thank you if you came down. Um, we've now been kicked out of the airport. Apparently they're closing the um, domestic airport area and we're going to make our way over to international. Or we might actually just go and get our RVs and hopefully Jordan will be here soon to, uh, for us to leave. Go to the airport. Look who it is, perfect timing. I'm How's the back. drive? How's the drive? The contraband uh, cargo. Right, <laughs> legend. Drone reunited with its batteries. <laughs> Let's give Jordan a round of applause. Yeah, Man. guys, absolute Man. legend. So this is inside our little camper van, RV. This is legit. And I've climbed up into the top bunk. I'm gonna try and have a little snooze off the drive. I was trying to edit, but I'm tired. So I think a little nap. Maybe I can edit when we get there. Well, we've arrived at the place we're staying tonight. It is 2 a.m. We're gonna get up at 5 a.m. again, so that's three hours sleep. Um, and we're heading to Hobbiton to film. This is pretty intense, guys. <laughs> right, I'll see you in the morning. Peace out, enjoy life, and live the adventure. Boom.